Good morning, children. So today I am going to take up the topic. You can see there parts of speech. See interjection, nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. These are the parts of speech. First noun. A noun is a word used as the name of a person, place, animal or thing. See, you can see in the picture, Pram, Prem, Hari, name of that boy. Yes, Tom. So, that's a noun. Rampur, name of a place, cowboy, river. Yes, so these are all nouns. Name of anything is a noun. Simple to remember. Next one. Pronouns. A pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. For example, see I say, I am using a pencil. I will write with a pencil. Every sentence, can I use pencil, pencil, pencil? No. I have a pencil. My pencil is broken. I have to repair my pencil. Can I use like that? No. I have to replace that word pencil with what? It. I have a pencil. It is broken. I cannot keep repeating pencil, pencil, pencil. So here, what am I doing? I am using it instead of the noun pencil. So therefore, it is a pronoun. See, Sita is a girl. Sita is going to school. Sita is playing. No, Sita is a girl. She is playing. So she is pronoun. He, she, it, they, you, we. These are all what? Pronouns. Then adjectives. It is a described word that is used to describe a noun or a pronoun. See, look at the picture. Brown dog. So what's the color of the dog? Brown dog. How is the horse? It is a big horse. What's the color of the house? A red house. So, brown, big, red, these words are called what? Adjectives. It is telling something about the noun. Verbs. A very easy way to remember verbs is it tells about some action. It is an action word. A verb is used to say something about a person, place or thing. Suppose, cry. The girl is crying. What is she doing? Crying. She is doing something. So, that is a verb. Pull. Pull that. Push the door. That means what action? Push. Read a book. What is that action there? Read. So, see. Run, play, cry, pull, read, sing, write. What, are, what words are these? These are all action words. Yes. So, therefore... It is, these words are called verbs, adverbs. These words are used to modify the meaning of a verb, an adjective, another adverb or a preposition. Yes, see, the boy runs slowly. You ask the question how you get the answer for adverb. How does the boy run? Slowly. So, slowly is adverb. It tells about the boy. Yeah. Then some more examples. She sings loudly. How does she sing? Loudly. So, loudly, slowly. What are these? These are adverbs. Prepositions. Prepositions is a part of speech which is used to show the relation between a noun or a pronoun with other words of the sentence. So many examples are there. The cat is on the table. So where is the cat? On the table. So on shows the relationship between the cat and the table. Yes. The box is on the chair. Where is the box? On the chair. On, in, 
inside, above, behind, beside. These are all prepositions. Conjunction. In very simple English, we say conjunction is a joining word. It is used to join words or sentences together. Yes, Ram and Sham are going to the market. See, and is a joining word. Yes, Sita and Gita are playing and. I will do it, but you have to give me a gift. So, but and, but, or, these are all conjunctions. An interjection is a word which expresses sudden feeling. It would be feeling of happiness, it could be feeling of sadness, anything. Yeah, alas, he is dead. When I say that, what am I doing? I am expressing sadness. Wow, what a beautiful picture. Means wow, means I am amazed. Hurrah, we won the match. That means I am expressing excitement. Hush, don't do that. Bravo, we won. So these are all feelings, yes, which is expressed. Yeah, so... Now I have some assignment for you. See, you can see some sentences given there and some words are underlined in each of the sentences. Okay. Tell which part of speech it is. Yes. Go through the parts of speech which I taught you and then do this exercise. See. How many are there? 1 to 10. Yes. Then one more. For each of the following questions, write the name of the part of speech. You have to say whether it is noun, verb, adjective, conjunction, article of the capitalized word. Yes. You have to guess and write. Not guess, write the correct answer I mean to say. So, totally 10 questions. How many questions? Total, total number of questions? 10. Okay, now a recap. Recap of what parts of speech? Nouns. Look at the picture. Look at the examples there. You already know what are nouns. Yes. Pronouns. A word used instead of a noun. You can see the examples given there. Can you see that? Yes. He, she, it, they, them, we. Yes. Next, adjectives. It tells about a noun or a pronoun. Big horse, brown dog, beautiful girl. Yes, it is very easy to remember. It is a describing word. Just remember that much. It will be very easy for you. Then what do we have? Verbs. It tells about some action. Very easy to remember. Adverbs. It tells how it, an action is done. Slowly, hurriedly. Yes, lazily. Prepositions. The cat is on the bed. The box is under the table. On, on in, under, behind, beside. Over, these are all examples of prepositions. Conjunction is a joining word. Yes. Do the exercises but don't go wrong. So, but is conjunction. And but or interjection. It expresses some sudden feeling. It could be feeling of happiness. It could be sadness. It could be excitement anything yes so that was about parts of speech go through again and again note down make notes on this topic and complete your assignment after going through parts of speech with proper understanding yes you can find out more examples write your own examples i have given you some you can write your own examples not necessary that you have to copy the examples which I have told you. Yes, try to think of some other examples. 
your own examples that would be very good so make notes on this topic it will help you in all examinations thank you